in case of incremental extraction if you have to do it in uh, other programming languages you have to get the last sequence number or the timestamp okay and save it in a table and at the end of every run you have to take the last value and update the table now in case of informatica if you use mapping variable if you use set max variable running maximum informatica will do the same thing you do need to create another table and update it at the end of uh, your run it will get the maximum and it will update it in the metadata that's it that you can use it in the where class i hope it is clear let us see that hmm so let us import uh, the incremental source incremental source and let us take incremental tab okay let us create a map m underscore emp the customer incremental extraction okay what you have to do take the source take the source then take the target okay now what you have to do we have to we are going to do uh, extraction incremental extraction incremental extraction is what extracting new or updated records from the source new or updated records. now currently no no whether it is uh, new or uh, new record or updated record you have to have a tag which identifies a record like whether uh, which uh, identifies is a new record or an updated record so currently we don't have any flag for updates but we have uh, the sequence running sequence okay to identify whether a record is a new record or not right so Uh, now we will extract only new records. If we have any flag of our updated uh, records, uh, then you can use that also. But currently we don't have it, so we will see only new records. Is it clear? No. So what you have to do uh, when you are extracting the data itself, you have to get the identify the new records and extract it. That is what extraction, right? So when you are reading the data itself, you have to have a where class. Where, where, uh, mm, uh, where uh, customer ID is the running sequence, right? Where customer ID is greater than uh, the last value, last record, maximum. Uh, uh, what is the customer ID? You have to take it and compare it. Are you getting me? So. <coughs> to calculate the maximum right uh, running what is the maximum means running maximum customer id you have to have a variable right so let us declare a, declare a variable mm -hmm. declare a variable mapping variable v underscore running maximum customer id it is a variable of it is it's a type of variable and it is integer and is a maximum so initial value is zero okay <coughs> in case of uh, mapping parameters if uh, you have any value in the file it will take it if you don't have it in the file then it will go to this mapping parameter declaration window and it will, it will take the initial value if you don't have initial value then it will take the default value right same what i plus even here but in this case we will see that so first time we need that initial value right so take zero as initial value because we are calculating maximum and we have to calculate running maximum of what customer id because the reason sequence 
रनिंग रनिंग मैक्सिमम कस्टमर आईडी ओके मेक इट एज इंटीजर्स नो कैलकुलेट रनिंग मैक्सिम सेट मैक्स वेरिएबल फर्स्ट आर्गुमेंट इज The variable which are which are saving the value. I say, come on. The value which value I am calculating. Mm -hmm. Plus two. We are calculating the rational value. Right. No value is more than the rational. No value is more than the rational. Source one day. Condition. Two more. Now start the workflow. <coughs> How many records we have in the source? We have only five. Yes, we have five records. So we have to see all five records in the source and five records in the target. <coughs> Select star from incre customer incremental source. source in the target you have to get all five records then so far so good <coughs> if you want to see the values in the variables whatever we have in the variables i forgot to tell you right click okay view persistent values you can see so what is the maximum value here 10 Because we have records values from six to ten, so running maximum is ten, right? <coughs> so next time, if a medical uses this ten last value as initial value, so in the where class of select statement, first time when you are running it, what is the value here? It is initial value zero. That is the reason you are getting all records. Now last record is ten. It will take the ten value and it will store it in the variable. Next time when you are running it, so what value you will have it here in this variable? Ten only. So do you have any new records now? No, we don't have any new records. Right. So how many? If you if you run this mapping, 
How many records it has to extract? New records here, inserted records. How many records it has to see? You have to see. How many it has to read? Zero. Because there are no new records. Then only you are mapping this correct. Okay? Zero in the source, zero in the target. Now go to your variable values and see. You persistent values. It is still 10. Right? Last value. Now if you want to see the log file, SQL, just go to log file and you can see the select statement. Select star from the table where customer ID greater than 10. That is the last uh, runs maximum value. Now let us insert some new records here. Okay. Where is that? New set of records. Insert into into customer incremental source values. So value value five eleven comma Ravi comma date of birth so zero uh, one zero one December nineteen ninety eight hmm? uh, see so it is uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you.